Oh my god, like I was chewing in my mouth. So I hate people that just chew with their mouth open and stuff. But ah! <laughs> you are not going to believe what I, the email that I've just received. I am going to be running in the Maori plan, mate. Ah! In the 100. I am so happy. I've been waiting for this email for so long. Because they sent out invites 10 weeks ago and I didn't get an original invite. So I've just been sitting on the sidelines, absolutely quaking in my boots. Like, will I be selected? Will I not be selected? I do not know. Anyway, I just got an email saying that I am going to race. And I'm going to race in the 100. So I'm like, ah! <laughs> I literally just fell off a cushion and oh my god no two hopefully maybe I might get be in a reserve for a 200 that would be cool too but <laughs> it's gonna be such a cool meet I worked it last year and I just thought it was like the coolest event like ever it was just so sick I was just like I want to be a part of this next year when I'm back healthy and now that I'm like healthy and I'm running I am like so excited to get to run in it because I really wanted to film. it's in Melbourne so if you're around and you're in Melbourne on a Thursday night because like what else are you gonna do on a Thursday night come and watch some athletics hello bro guess what bro what's up guess what email I just got Maury Planet yeah I'm in the hundred baby yeah, well, I'm definitely taking the day off training then because I obviously wanted to see it because I saw that I just saw today that um, Tori and Zoe Hobbs are in it. And oh, now me! And, 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 <laughs> and now just, me! Is it a couple of weeks or is it just one race? It's just one race, man. Just one race. Just oh, shit. straight. Been, like, that was pretty stacked race. It, it is going to be stacked race, man. That'd be like probably one of the stackedest races you've ever run in. Probably. 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 You better miss me up. I'm going to get this in the first 10 seconds. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Nicki Minaj! Bastard! Show you off! <laughs> don't let them see, don't let it grow. But now they know! You're a tough guy, like a really rough guy Just can't get enough guy You're just a bad guy You're a sad guy Make your mom a proud guy Make your mom a sad guy Make you... I'm a bad guy What? <laughs> Got the horses in the bag Horse stock is attached Had his matted bag Got the boozy black to match Riding on my horse You can't whip your Porsche I've been in the valley, you have been off of their porch now. Hello my friends, it is race week. <laughs> Again. So that is exciting. We are the truck now. We're going to do some wicked cones and a 300. I'm going to run on one inch two this weekend. Stacked fields. Stacked fields. I am nervous and excited. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, that one was so much better. That was so much smoother. Hey. Mass is still single. <laughs> still, still looking single. for a girlfriend. <laughs> still looking. <laughs> we are done for the day. My 300 was just a smooth 300. Nothing too fast, nothing too slow. So it was kind of nice. Wrapped up, gonna go eat a fat ass steak and jump in the sauna for recovery, so we're good. It's 5.30 in the morning and I've just packed my bag. We're going to Italy, baby. <laughs> we just went and got new shoes. So we went to a Sportitude running in Adelaide. I got these ones. I'm gonna do my dribbles. I'm gonna do my normal warm-up drills in my normal shoes and then I'm gonna move into these for my dribbles and then obviously move into some spikes. We went with these because they got a really like on the toes kind of base and I wouldn't be able to do my warm-up drills in them but I thought that they would be really awesome for my drills and stuff so I thought and they're really insanely light so I thought 
we'll try these and have a go at these. And then Dad, Dad that's got me, a pair. Me. He me. got hockered. Yeah. <laughs> he got hockered. He saw that's a so pair good. of hockers and he has heard good things because he has a sore back. And he tried the hockers and then... Comfort plus they are. <laughs> <laughs> the man couldn't take the shoes off. He just walked out of the store and then he just loved them so much. So... Thank you to Sporter Shoes um, up in Adelaide. So if you're there, go and grab a pair of shoes. They're really awesome in there. But now we're heading to the track. We're going to do a quick warm-up shakeout. I'm going to do more on the track than I, what I normally would because I haven't done much this week. And we're just going to try and... We're going to do blocks and everything today. And Dad's going to be my little starter, which would be great. So, yeah, it'd be good trying to get the nervous system firing and stuff like that. But we're not... The plan is not to go too fast maybe like 95% because we do want to leave a little bit in the tank obviously for tomorrow. But say, 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 you run it on the road, so get out of the way, push the pedal to the floor, go on all the way, yeah, you see I'm getting close, I accelerate, going faster than fast, with the gas, lose control, I will crash, run it high, 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 put your money on the dash, throw the die, die, lose control, I will crash, run it. So, I just finished my session. <laughs> It was pretty good. We stayed at like 95%. We did some fast sprints out of the blocks, which was nice, but I haven't done that all week, and so I've been a little bit nervous and I haven't done them, so it's nice to just get them out of the way. Feeling good. I'm just going to remember fast arms. We've been really trying to focus on fast arms, so I'm just going to do it tomorrow, you know? Just going gonna, just gonna to run with fast arms. <laughs> oh my god, this heat is just taking everything out of me, man. Now I'm hot as hell. Good morning everyone, it is race day. I'm like one of the only ones that are running like the one and the two today. Like most people are either just running the one or just running the two. I'm not running till late as, so I'm pretty bored. I'm not going to lie. Liv is jumping here in Adelaide as well and this is actually her only event before nationals. Like she doesn't have any more track classics which is um, a bit unlucky for her but I mean like how cool it would have been if they had pole vault at Mori Plant but maybe next year. She wants to wear pink with me and she wants to be matching so sometimes you know when you wake up and you're like nah there's no way in hell I'm wearing pink or like there's no way in hell I'm wearing that like you have an outfit in your mind and on the day you're like nah I just don't feel like it. But I feel like I could wear pink today. I might just see, put it on, see how I go, you know, and just enjoy it. Be my starter in the warm up blocks. Make sure that no one's in my way because I have PTSD on a tight warm up track because I broke my wrist one time, smashed into someone on a warm up track. The warm up track is really, really small and really tight, so it's going to be. Very, very hectic. I actually do not know how they're going to do nationals here with this warm up track, but at least today there's not as many people running, so therefore it's going to be hopefully a nice and smooth. Chaotic. A little bit less chaotic, but nevertheless, it's still going to be chaotic, so yeah, we'll see. So Lewis got a pretty good start. So Conley's got her in his sights early. Edwards two from the left leads. Edwards that leads from Lewis and also Conley. And then a gap behind those to Gloss. Into the straight. Conley's going to just lead Lewis, I reckon. They're about two metres up on Elliot behind them and Howes. And now Lewis starts to get away and get right away in the end. Does she take Morley's record? Not quite. Marathon, I really run it. We are done here in Adelaide. Yay! Livy jumped really well. What'd you I go, got PB? an equal PB, equal PB and really good attempt for a PB, so I'm happy. So next time, hopefully, she grabs that PB. I, Hell myself, yeah. ran, obviously, in a one and a two. One, like, I just didn't come out of the blocks as well as I thought I was going to and hoped to, which is as per usual, um, and did feel my hamstring a little bit in the first 40 metres. However, it definitely cleared up in the last... Um, in the last 30 meters I was really feeling that top end speed so that's why I was like all right I feel good for this 200 I went in literally got physioed and then finished my physio and then I had a call room in 15 what 10 15 minutes so I did like a couple of hamstring drills and then just went straight in for the straight into the spice and straight into the two I'm glad I did run that too even though I really just I was on the edge like 
do I run this too? Do I not run this too? Obviously risk over reward with the hamstrings, but I'm glad I ran the two. Sometimes you just gotta know your body, I guess. And I'm glad that my body held up. We're gonna go for some ice baths. My two was eh, eh. Like it was all right. It was into a one point head, five headwind. So you are just downgraded this. You did really well. I did really well. It was I, a I did come best, home really. Like, oh. No, it wasn't a season best. Oh. But Dad, I did really was well. Telling me lies. I was telling you lies. <laughs> but I did really well. I think considering. So I on to the next one. Really on to the next one. Look at this track name. What the hell? This is so ugly. I'm gonna be scrubbing this for years and my fingers are literally the same. I forgot to eat my giant strawberries in between my one and the two. I forgot to eat them because I was on the physio table getting treatment. So... We out here ice bathing tonight and tomorrow morning before I fly out and then I'll go get treatment because obviously the hamstring it's actually pulled up pretty well after the 200, which is a little weird. Um, but yeah, it is 11.30 at night. Obviously a big, big, big day. Good thing I had an arm. At the airport and I'm just registering for my Vic State Chance because they're close tomorrow and I'm entering in a 400s. I don't know what safe time to put down. I haven't really ran a 400 since I was 15 years old. My PB for when I was 15 is a 5408. I do not know what I would run right now. Like, could be a PB, could be a minute, wouldn't be a minute, definitely wouldn't be a minute. Could be 55. I don't know what I, I don't know what I would run at the moment. Like, what do you? <laughs> oh, I do not know. <laughs> we are back in Melbourne. Just got needled in my glutes, hamstrings lower back literally everywhere i still feel like they're still in me right now and making dinner it's been a nice weekend it's been a lot but good you know a lot but good main things is really i just really need to focus on my start obviously and just get keen for more plan if you don't have tickets and you're doing nothing on a thursday then come and watch otherwise if you're busy then you're busy thanks so much for sport shoot for my new pairs of shoes i am so excited to start training in these and they have an online store so say if you're not in Adelaide and you're around the world you're around Australia then go have a look on their online store they've got heaps of pairs of shoes like oh my goodness but if you're in Adelaide then go and see the team because they are pretty cool too thank you to all of you guys watching and obviously I've never done one of these before but like like and comment and subscribe <laughs> joking you're not joking uh you know you know how it is anyway thank you Love you all. Oh, also, cool hair, by the way. I really enjoyed my hair. Um, so the braids, two braids, I really liked it. Didn't go in my face when I was in the blocks and I had more time to think. So I'm gonna keep going with this. But anyway, see you later, everyone. Love you, bye.